Have you ever been in the middle of doing something when you're suddenly struck with a terrible sinking feeling that whatever it is you're doing is a bad idea, but you shrug the feeling off against your better judgment and continue on, only to thoroughly regret it later? That pretty much sums up my thoughts concerning the line comparing Twilight to Celestia, Luna, and Cadence in my Season 4 video. The thought struck me that it might be taken the wrong way, but I pushed those thoughts aside and moved on. But now, the majority of the discussion surrounding that video seems to be fixated on this one line, a line that has almost nothing to do with the core concept of the video at hand. It's like half of the viewers stopped watching right there after that line was said and started writing up responses. And frankly, the fact that the discussion has largely missed the point is borderline infuriating. Regardless, I've gotten multiple text essays and even some video responses attacking this one line, and after writing a few text defenses of my own, I feel it seems another video is warranted. Status. That was all the line was referring to. Twilight is essentially equivalent in status to the other princesses, and ganging up on her friend is not a very princessy thing to do. Some people seem to have taken the line as me wanting Twilight to act just like Celestia and Luna, but believe me when I say that's not the case. To want to have her character be identical to Celestia and Luna would make no sense, considering she's already far more dynamic than either of them, not to mention a completely different character. I don't want her to be a Sue, I don't want her to be infallible, or a carbon copy of another character. All I want is for her perspective on things going forward to reflect reflect the massive change in her character after the narrative has devoted three episodes to hammer in the fact that she's progressed. In Magical Mystery Cure, we were told that Twilight earned her wings because she had come to a greater understanding of friendship. She had come a long, long way. Because of this ascension, she was no longer Celestia's student and was crowned a princess. And then, the entire point of the season 4 premiere was to show Twy was able to balance being a friend and a leader, and to show that this change affected both her perception of herself and the way her friends viewed her. This stuff is supposed to show that Twilight has grown, and while Twilight had some decent moments in Daring Don't and Power Ponies, being able to take the moral high ground and guide the narrative resolution, because of her deep involvement in Dash's reading habit and her obvious care for Spike, it's hard to point to those as evidence of a wisdom requisite of her wings when she clearly would have gone to bat in both situations before her ascension. Still though, credit where credit's due. Bats, on the other hand, was weird because she jumps in on ganging up on Fluttershy despite knowing that the girl is sensitive. It just seems a bit harsh for a character like Pinkie Pie, but even worse for Twilight because we've been led to believe she's better than this. People have messaged me saying the conflict in Bats wasn't a friendship problem, and therefore Twy gets a pass on handling it badly. But the reason I didn't like Twy joining in with AJ so quickly was because she was being unfair to Fluttershy her friend. Others stated it was unfair to expect better of Twy because she has never learned this lesson before, and while I think there have been quite a few overlapping parallels in the past, it doesn't change the fact that even if she hadn't, that doesn't make you blind to being able to empathize with your friend, something that the princess of friendship should be able to easily grasp. I think the biggest thing though is that, to me, this point was comparatively minor when put up against what the rest of the video was talking about, so the fact that we're all fixated on this point to me seems a bit misguided. While I'd like to see a constant referential to Twilight's growth, this is an aspect of her character that will probably only be directly examined during the premieres and finales given past examples on how this series handles continuity. If we ever get episodes that deal with finding some keys, maybe it'll be present there as well. The point of the video wasn't to talk about Twilight, it was to talk about Season 4 as a whole, as it stood so far. Twilight's characterization is part of that, but it's not the whole story.